Okay, it's official, ladies and gentlemen. Trump has vowed that um, he is going to fight the opioid plague. He has declared it a national emergency. This is an article that came out in the Daily News, and Trump vows to combat opioid plague, declares state of emergency as overdose rates climb. Trump is declaring the opioid crisis a national emergency. Days after hearing from a White House opioid commission, Trump said he's heeding its call for increased federal action to combat the plague of overdoses from prescription opioid painkillers such as oxycodone, hydrocodone, fentanyl, and morphine. At a Bedminster, New Jersey new news conference with Pence on Thursday, Trump said he planned to spend a lot of time and money on addressing the opioid problem. The opioid plague is an emergency, and I'm saying it officially right now. It is an emergency, Trump told reporters. We're going to draw it up, and we're going to make it a national emergency. It's a serious problem the likes of which we never, ever had. A total of 52,000 people died of fatal overdoses in 2015, a rate of 16.3 per 100,000. Of those, more than 33,000 were attributed to opioids, including prescription painkillers, as well as heroin and even more potent fentanyl. Experts predict a marked rise in 2016 figures due to increasing numbers of pain uh, prescription painkillers users turning to heroin and fentanyl which are cheaper and more deadly fatal overdoses hit a record of 19.9 per 100,000 people in the third quarter last year a steep jump from 16.7 in 2015, according to the National Center for Health Statistics. There have never been anything like what's happened to this country over the last four or five years, Trump said. And I have to say this in all fairness, this is a worldwide problem, not just United States problem, but that's that's kind of that's true but the united states have the biggest problem in the world that's the thing you know this is again trying not to take all the responsibility but the united states you want to call yourself a superpower a world leader and you're also leading in drug addiction you know you don't want to suck it up and call it what it is Oh, it's not just us, it's everybody else in the world. Yeah, but you got the biggest problem in the world. Say it the right way. The bipartisan commission created in March and led by New Jersey Governor Chris Christie made several recommendations, including the development of a national prevention strategy, improvement in treatment programs, and a reduction in the supply of heroin, fentanyl, and counterfeit pills. Well, good luck with that. With all, everything is coming from all borders into the United States right now. It's not just Mexico. I know they talk a lot about Mexico, but there's a lot coming in through the Canadian border. There's drugs coming in from the islands. Uh, a lot of it's coming in from the Dominican Republic into Florida. And I mean, and now you, and you got all the big shipments coming in from China. Good luck. Good luck because you are getting hit from all borders right now. But the, first, uh, but the first and most important step, the member said, was to declare the plague a national emergency. Such a declaration would free up resources and allow Trump to empower federal agencies to push Congress to for funding to fight, to fight uh, addiction, remove barriers to treatment, expand treatment facilities, and supply cops with anti-overdose drugs. 
the opioid plague we are facing is unparalleled, the commission said in a letter accompanying the report to Trump. The average American would likely be shocked to know that drug overdoses now kill more people than gun homicides and car crashes. We know that. That's why I laugh every time the trolls come over here talking about black on black crime. The drug deaths have far exceeded any deaths that occur from black on black crime. So you sound ridiculous. There is nothing that exceeds drug overdose deaths in America at this point in time. Nothing. So you can keep bringing that up all you want. You will never be able to produce the numbers that show black people are killing other black people at 142 a day. It ain't happening, okay? Nor has it ever happened. I guess your high IQ just don't tell you that. Over the last 13 years, more than 183,000 people have died from opioid overdoses, half of which involved a prescription drug, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Yeah, but most of your junkies out here, as I did um, a video about a week ago, the vast majority of the junkies with opioids never had a prescription. Okay, so they, they speak in half truths in, in these articles. They really do. All right, it means they are willing to spend more money and make sure people will be able to get treatment. All right, well, where was all this more money and treatment for the crack addiction? You weren't concerned about it. See, this is why you're not getting that much empathy from the black community because you, you, you were singing a whole different tune during the crack epidemic, which this government caused, by the way. It's not like we brought it in and did it to ourselves. We didn't do this to ourselves, okay? It, it's just one more of the line of trickeries that you had to play on the black community in order to get us hooked on the crack. It's a good thing if they're going to spend it an appropriate manner. It's not good if they spend it on a system that has been failing people already. And believe me, it's already failing. And I can tell you right now, this addiction has gone on for 20 years, ladies and gentlemen. And 20 years later, when it's at the height of its most deadliest point, now they want to step in and call it a national emergency. Don't you know these drug cartels already got all many crafty ways in getting drugs in this country? You act like it only can come in one direction at the Mexican border. Are you kidding me? Those drugs come in all kinds of ways, by plane, by ship, helicopters, boats. I mean, are you kidding me? These drug cartels are just going to find another way to get those drugs in this country. You can best believe it. Okay, the officials need to remove criminality from the equation to give addicts a real chance to get their lives back together. Really? How come that wasn't the attitude during the crack epidemic? Six states, Arizona, Florida, uh, Maryland, Massachusetts, Alaska, and Virginia have announced their own opioid-related public health emergencies in recent years. Just two days earlier, Hu uh, Health and Human Services Secretary Tom Price indicated that declaring a national emergency wasn't necessary because the administration was already empowered to fight the plague. A final version of the commission report is expected to be sent to Trump later this year. So we'll see, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just telling you, you, you got thousands of people dealing drugs <clears throat> in America, and you got so many ways of getting that drug into the country. And then, and, and you're not even talking about how you really can't use drug sniffing dogs because when the dog inhales 
these drugs, even they need Narcan or they'll die. So, and <clears throat> this is just crazy, okay? But I just wanted to put this latest piece of news that came out on August 11th, 2017, and I'll post the link in the description box. So you can see where they're standing on this particular plague. Please leave your comment and subscribe. And if you can donate to my channel, please do. Peace, family.